Hello, hello. It is Saturday, February 24th, and I just wanted to sit down with you guys and just give a bit of an update. I feel like I haven't been very active on here. I don't really know where to start. I think last summer we went on a big group holiday with friends, and since that trip, I've kind of slowly just been starting to feel a lot worse about myself. And in the last few weeks, that's come to a bit of a head where the, the thoughts I'm having and the meanness that I am treating myself with is just vile. <laughs> I'm just being so horrendous to my own, my own self and I have slowly stopped moving my body. I haven't been going outside for walks. I haven't been, like my room started to get a little bit messier. I haven't been enjoying doing videos. I haven't been enjoying doing anything. I've just been really hard on myself. And also I feel very reactive and sensitive. The way I'm sort of, I've been thinking about it is that I feel like a bit like a toddler where something will happen and I just get like poof, crying. I'm like fully, upset and then mean to myself at least once a day and it's usually around other people and so it's not very outward but just the thoughts and then the kind of come down afterwards and then I crash and like I wouldn't say I like I'm behaviorally reactive around other people but internally it's a gong show I feel like a toddler having a tantrum at least once a day and it's just it's very unusual it's very uncomfortable and I just haven't been looking after myself and I think I'm definitely going to go to the doctor and get some tests done because it doesn't sound very normal to me. Um, cover all my bases but something about me is I really like to cover all my personal autonomous bases before, well not before but while also kind of doing that journey with the doctor. And this might just be trauma from being a woman in healthcare. I want to show up there and basically say, yes, I'm looking after myself. Yes, I'm eating well. Yes, I'm getting exercise. Yes, I'm drinking enough water and just sort of cover all my bases. And to be fair, those things always, always, always help anyways. So yeah, I just feel like very not myself and it's quite sad <laughs> to put it lightly. It's now at the point where I'm just so sick and tired of myself and something needs to change my thoughts to myself need to change i need to be kinder and gentler and just look after myself like basically like soothing the insides of my brain because it's that's that's the point that i've gotten to that's a little update i just wanted to sit down and chat about that and there are probably lots of different things that will help that i maybe will notice and won't notice i think i'm going to showcase a little bit of a a mental reset weekend right now and then next week I'd like to maybe build, I don't know if I want it to do a series or not, but I was thinking of just sort of like a building a new habit each week and just what it looks like to prioritise a single habit each week and how they build on top of each other. I don't know if that makes sense, but just like those things that make you feel good. Prioritise it for a week. Just like speaking about that one, one habit for a week. Keep it going. And then the next week another one and to me these habits are things that I've already I know that I have been habitual with in the past and it has really been this kind of crises that has taken them away from me or that I've let fall off the wayside so it's not like a big it, it wouldn't be the same sort of intensity as someone who's never done it before it's very much like this is stuff I know looks after me Let's see if it has the same effect. Let's see if I need to meet myself somewhere else right now. If these aren't, aren't doing it. Yeah, I just thought that might be a little bit, could be interesting. I'm not sure. Just sort of take you along for the journey. I haven't been making videos because I haven't been inspired. And every time I watch them, I'm usually so neutral about watching my videos and editing them. And I've just been so mean to myself. Like watching them, I'm just like, mm. I just delete the footage before I even edit it. It's bizarre. <laughs> I guess we'll see how it goes. I think it also feels worse when I really worked so hard for a long time to get to a point of true like peace and I do think I achieved it and that doesn't mean it's perfect it's always going to be imperfect we're humans but that's a part of it that's part of the peace and to sort of have that fall away slowly and unconsciously is oh feels horrible because you're you've 
you've boosted your threshold that to then fall so far away from the threshold again. Huh. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I hate it. <laughs> Anyways, on to today. My license expired on my birthday, which I didn't actually realise until this week. So I'm going to go get that renewed. And other than that, I don't have too many plans. I'm, I'd like to pick myself up some chocolate. It's very, um, like overcast today, but it's so pretty with the snow falling. That's one thing. I was wondering if it was like, maybe it's just February in the winter, but I find it's like, it's been a beautiful, lovely few days, lovely weeks, very warm. And it's always just so pretty. Like the snow is beautiful. Even if it's chilly, it's, oh gosh. Even if it's chilly, it's still so pretty. And I, I don't I don't think it's the winter, I think it's uh, something else. And I think that's another thing I keep trying to focus on the trigger point of like, what caused this? What caused this? It doesn't really matter. Like it really doesn't. At this stage, it's just like, okay, something did. And you've been ruminating on it for over six months. So let's, let's move on. Let's, let's start building it back up again. <laughs> It's just one of those times, hey? Anyways, let's get on with the day. <laughs> My current license, I look really good on the photo. <laughs> so I hope I don't have to take another photo, but just in case. myself a new loofah and Alfie thinks it's a toy for him. <laughs> it's not for you, this is me. I also got myself a new body wash. Method Body Peony Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt. Pure Peace. It smells nice. It smells good. <laughs> I think the only other thing that I like need to do that's on my list for this weekend is laundry. The usual. And then I'd also like to do a deep clean of the room, reset the space, turning a new leaf. I'd also like to clarify, I am in no way like, <laughs> what's the word? I'm like fine. I'm, it's like a genuinely, I'm like genuinely fine and like semi high functioning. I'm just not thriving. That's the difference. I would like to be thriving is is ideal. Okay, oh, my bed very squeaky. Um, I'm gonna get doing some journaling. I've been maintaining this since the new year, and it's been really, really lovely. I think that when I was talking about the winter earlier, I think this makes a difference, just sort of my attitude towards it. And then I'm also just gonna do my regular journaling, and. Oh, I was listening to a podcast the other day, and it was one of Grace Beverly's, the <clears throat> Working Hard, Hardly Working. And I don't remember what it was talking about specifically, but there was one thing that she said, and it was talking about a balance. And that has always been like my watchword has been balance. I've always been so attuned to, oh, I need balance, I need balance, I need to balance, I need to learn how to balance better. And what she said, it just like clicked in my brain and gave me like a tickle, and it was... <laughs> that it's not, balance isn't always realistic, it's more about a sliding scale of prioritisation and what you need to do and like what's going to help you at baseline and those will fluctuate constantly. Like even me saying like, I'm actually doing quite okay, I'm not thriving but I'm doing quite okay and to me that's a reflection of like my work life has been brilliant, I've been working really hard and getting that done but that's probably my sliding scale, that was a, that's a priority because if I don't have like, I'm hourly, I'm not on salary or anything, so I'm paid by the hour. If I am financially struggling, that makes everything worse anyways. Whereas if I can put in a good few, if I can put in a good day's work, feel proud of myself and productive and prioritize that, that's gonna feel better 
even if I don't feel great when I come home, that's still going to feel better than if I'm not working and I've taken like a break or I'm not working as hard and I still feel rough at home. Does that make sense? Like it's that sliding scale of prioritisation. Um, I don't really know where I was going with that. And that's not to say like work is my life. It's not. <laughs> but being able to prioritise it when I need to and maybe that is just saying no to if I haven't been doing as many social plans but even with high energy the social plans aren't aren't doing it for me right now so it's not a priority versus if I'm putting my energy towards something that I can that is helpful to me <laughs> big ramble at this point but I'm going to journal <laughs> um it's always it's always a nice one of my favorite parts of my day is just settling in and checking in Okay, I've been putting off doing some editing for last week's video. Ooh. So I'd like to get that done. I was wanting to do it all week and I just kept not doing it. So today's really just a centering, getting things off the mental to-do list. Free up some space up here. If my computer will land. I was just about to nap and then I got like a rush as oh, I'm low. 1.9 so my dad brought me some candy thank you oh and Alfie's here climbing today with Keenan and I also sort of wanted to make myself some nice dinner but because of how like unhappy my stomach has been I feel like just making some plain something plain and like not particularly inflammatory might be the move so I might just have like a really boring dinner and then just go climbing <laughs> as I edit I notice I eat lots of different meals throughout the week, but every time I pick up the camera, I eat the same like two or three meals on rotation. It would be funny if it wasn't like on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, it'll probably be one of those meals today. It's just half four. I think Keenan and I talked about going climbing at six. So yeah, if I start making some dinner now, some boring dinner that you've definitely seen before, then I'm going to go climbing.
he's such a gentleman and always like clears off the car and gets the gas and it's just so, so nice he's so nice <laughs> So nice. I don't know if I've spoken about this, but I've started a new hair care routine for the last month or so, a couple weeks. My hair feels so lovely all the time, but right before I shower, I'll kind of let this sit on the roots for as long as possible. It's the hair food, hair oil, and I just put it all the way through the roots. Very, very sexy. And then I put this deep sea hydration John Frieda hair mask through the ends. It's so, my hair just feels lovely when I do all of it and I use a lot because I've got very, very thick hair. And then it chills before I shower. I'll just do something else for like 20 minutes or so. We have apple pie. And that's not good for the soul. I don't know what is. Okay, me and my mum watched one of my comfort movies, which is Love Rosie. And showered, washed my hair, picked my face, which I shouldn't have done, and now, oh, oh, that looks so rough, painful. I haven't had big painful ones like that in a long time. My body can feel the stress. So now we're going to sleep. Um, yeah, see you guys in the morning. I just got to Keenan's. We're heading out, but. He wasn't ready when I got here, so he's just showering. And I brought him a grapefruit. Went to the grocery store. Oopsies. Throwing his grapefruit. But I went to the grocery store. He also picked up one of these. It's like the lemon, ginger, and honey shots. I love these things. I love these things. The tingle, I just, they feel so effective because it's like a little bit of a... Sens <laughs> I like the sensation. And everyone at my work was sick, so I feel like it's not a bad idea to give it a go. Anything helps. Oh, I love it. I like these ones as well because they're big. So it's like you get more than one, one go at them. Anyways, happy Sunday. We are about to meet some friends and go to church, but then afterwards we are gonna go and grab a little, little treat at Canela, which we all know I love. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I guess we'll see what else we get up to.
I just found and bought a vintage Mark Jacobs jacket. <laughs> Hello, I'm home now. The lighting is not great, but I wanted to show you the vintage find I found today. There's a vintage Marc Jacobs, like, satin-esque blazer. Blazer? Jacket? I'm not really sure. I wouldn't call it like a classic blazer. But it's got this like beautiful inside detailing and then the pockets as well. And it fits like a glove. It is so like beautifully tailored. Like look at the way that the the shaping on that is so lovely. <laughs> Probably not with the blue. <laughs> Did you see that? That's so nice. That's so beautiful. Very pleased with that. Probably won't be able to wear that this week and debut it because it's going to be very, very cold. So this might, it's definitely more of a like wear it under something on the way to work, like under a big coat, or more of a spring jacket, which I'm fine looking towards now because I'm getting a bit bored with winter, but it's so beautiful. I'm absolutely obsessed. Oh, oh, it's lovely. Very pleased with that, and it looks nice undone as well. Yeah, it just fits perfectly. It was $60 for vintage Marc Jacobs. <laughs> Sold. And now for the rest of the evening, my mum and dad have just put Breakpoint on, on Netflix, which I think I've seen like an episode or two of, and I really enjoyed that one. It's like the tennis version of the Formula One show that they did. Um, I'd like to get into more comfortable trousers and probably just relax and set myself up for tomorrow. I'm working from home tomorrow, but actually, you know what? I might leave the video here because I'm gonna set up my journaling for t this coming week, which I might include in next week's video because the next few weeks are gonna kind of be like a, a series of getting back to yourself and feeling your best and building new habits each week. So I might leave you here. This can be like episode zero. I'm just kind of like the reset, clear the slate. And then the next few weeks it can kind of build on, on that. So yeah, let's do that. I'll say goodbye to you here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is my gentle reminder to you as I need it myself is to be nicer to yourself and exercise your brain in how it thinks. You really have to consciously battle your thoughts sometimes and override them to be 
nicer to yourself and that was a habit I was very good at for a long time and I think because I got so good at it and a lot of those thoughts became default I got out of the habit and out of the practice of it and I'm thinking that that's sort of where I've been flailing the last few months is I just didn't remember how to do it and then I hit a bit of more of a high stress crises moment and I had no my brain was not exercising in that way and hadn't for a long time so it was like trying to use muscles you hadn't worked out in a long time it's just a lot harder so yeah anyways thank you for watching if you like this video please leave a comment or like or subscribe always love it and I will see you guys next week